Welcome to this Debaco University video where I'll be covering cannabis cloning options and particularly the advantages and disadvantages of two main options. One, the cut and stick method, and two, the aeroponic cloner. So come join me. All right, let's get into the advantages and disadvantages of some cloning options for cannabis plants. So first off, there are two main methods being uh, the cut and stick method and then aeroponic cloner. Now both can get you to the same end result, but in both have their own advantages and disadvantages that I'm gonna cover here. So first off, the cut and stick method when we're talking about cloning. Reason why growers typically choose this method is it's very simple. Uh, it also requires a minimal amount of materials. So as we can see here, we have some oasis blocks, some perlite, maybe a little humidity dome, some lighting, nothing too out of the ordinary a great advantage of this cut and stick method. We're simply cutting uh, those vegetative propagation clones and sticking them into the various substrate. However, there are some disadvantages with this method as well. One, you really cannot see the roots, so as a grower, you're kind of guessing, and this can be a slower method of rooting. If you're looking at where you need to really be under the gun to be keep, go through and you know turn uh, one over with the next one, uh, this can be a little bit slower of a process. Now compared to aeroponic cloner, a great advantage of the aeroponic cloner is it allows the growers to physically and actually visually see the roots. It's a very efficient method of production and it can allow for individual clones to be transferred at the ideal time simply because the grower can actually see the roots. This can allow individuals to be transferred over to the next step at the right or opti optimum time. However, there are disadvantages with the uh, aeroponic cloning method, and this does require uh, special equipment and an electrical power source. Uh, also, growers can lose the entire batch of clones that they may have going if there's an issue. The reason why this is is there are minimal buffering system. So pH is really important to dial in. Again, can potentially turn clones out a little bit faster, allow growers to see it, but again, requires some special equipment and does have a tendency for the growers to be a little bit more attention to detail with the aeroponic cloner. So if this gave you good pros and cons of each, if there's one you want to learn more about, check out Tobacco University for more information.